Welcome to this section in Mastering Elasticsearch 5.0 entitled Relevancy in Elasticsearch. In this section, we aim to better understand relevancy. More specifically, we start by looking at scoring in Elasticsearch. We then have a detailed look at boosting, the process of altering the search score to change the outcome of a query. We conclude this section by learning how to reduce the score to impact query results for a subset of the total query results with rescoring. Welcome to this video entitled Scoring in Elasticsearch. In this video, we will define relevancy in Elasticsearch. Then, we look at the Boolean model used to match documents, and then term frequency inverse document frequency, along with the vector space model, which are used to establish relevancy. Apache Lucy and Elasticsearch by extension employs the Boolean model to achieve document matching. Now, while matching is important, establishing relevancy relative to the original query is arguably more important. Why? Well, because relevancy basically tells you which documents of all the matching documents best match the query, with the resulting order having the best matches appear at the top of the list, all the way down to the least best matches, which appear at the bottom, in descending order by default. Now let's look at the Boolean model. The Boolean model simply aims to exclude all documents that don't qualify per the query. It's very basic and fast. The Boolean model also doesn't care about relevancy. So think of the Boolean model as a binary search where the and, or, and not conditions are applied in the query. Relevancy, on the other hand, is the score generated during a query for each document match returned. It helps to think of relevancy score as determining how relevant a given document is to a query. Results in Elasticsearch are returned in descending order, as previously stated, and that's based on the relevancy score of each document. Also note that the score is a floating point number. So 0 0.54, etc. One quick note on calculating relevancy. The type of query clause actually determines how relevancy is calculated. So for instance, a fuzzy query calculates score based on the similarity of spelling of found words relative to the original search term. Also, fuzzy query is a term level query. So it focuses on taking a single term and finding all terms that are within a specified fuzziness. To the contrary, a term query uses the percentage of terms that are found. And finally, in Elasticsearch, term query relevancy is the algorithm used to calculate the similarity of content of full text relative to a query string. Elasticsearch employs a similarity algorithm which breaks down into term frequency, inverse document frequency, and field norm length. In short, term frequency looks at how often a term appears in a field. Terms are more relevant the more often they appear. Inverse document frequency denotes how often a given term appears in an index. Here, the more often a term appears in a given index, the less relevant it is. Finally, field length norm deals with the size of the field. Basically, a term that appears in a name field, for example, would carry higher relevancy than the same term appearing in a message field. The vector space model is used to compare multi-term queries against a given document. The result is a vector of numbers, each of which represents the relevancy score of a term in the document. Say you have a document and you query car and flight. And assume that the relevancy scores were 4 and 9 for the car and the flight respectively. The results would appear as 4 and 9. 
Think of a vector as a one-dimensional array of numbers. Once the final vectors are produced for all documents, they can be compared to determine highest to lowest in relevancy. As you can see here, we have document 1, 2, and 3, each with a different relevancy score in a vector. Important point. In search terminology, when you hear the word documents, note that it is the same as fields, more specifically relative to the TFIDF, that's Turn Frequency Inverse Document Frequency Algorithm, anything that has its own inverted index is referred to as a document. And since fields have their own inverted index, they are referred to as documents for TFIDF purposes. Viewing the score is very important. To see the score of a query results, you can simply run the explain parameter in your search query as such. This will yield the following results. So for the score of the term Harvard in the given document, this is what we have. We have the weight and the relevant parts here that I want to look at are highlighted. You have the weight that gives you the document weight specifically. And then you have the previously discussed TF, IDF, and fill norm, the numbers associated with each in 2, 3, and 4 respectively. And later in our implementation video, we'll look at some details from a sample corpus.